Are you developing your own apparel line and you're trying to figure out what information to send to your factory to get your first prototype back? Are you not sure what a tech pack is and you've heard that referenced a few different times? Trust me, you are not alone. My name is Rachel Erickson and I'm an apparel development manager who has since moved on to create her own business consulting company for the fashion industry. If you're looking to build an initial tech pack to send to your factory so that they can provide a detailed prototype back to you, there are four key elements that you need to include on that first prototype. The first is a flat sketch. So we call these flats. They're usually done in Adobe Illustrator and they're black and white line drawings of your garment Imagine if you laid it flat on the floor and then drew lines all around it to show all of the details, the proportions of it, how it should look, all of the style lines, all of the seaming. That's what your flat sketch is. You wanna make this as detailed as possible and as accurate as possible so that your factory can understand what you're trying to achieve with this garment. Second, you're gonna to wanna to take that flat sketch and create detail sketches with it. So if you have a specific pocket construction that you want, that can be a small detail sketch that you create. In addition to things like pockets and plackets and zipper garages and all kinds of items that you can put on garments, you also wanna include a sketch that has your entire flat sketch front and back with different wording called out. So telling them what kind of stitching you wanna see letting them know what the details are, especially if you aren't doing a specific detail sketch. Calling out all of the different items around your garment is gonna help them to understand not just visually what you want, but now you've also put it into words. Number three is your bill of materials. You wanna make a list of all the materials you expect to see, the fabrics, the zippers, the buttons, the packaging, the hang tags, the heat transfers, the logos, anything that you wanna see on this garment needs to go into your bill of materials. And last but not least, you need a measurement page. So you need to suggest some main measurements, at least chest, waist, bottom opening for a top, waist, hip, thigh, inseam length for a pant. If you're not providing these upfront measurements, you need to provide a reference sample for them to copy or a pattern for them to use. A lot of the time you can go out to the store and measure a sample that you really like for fit and send along those measurements. The more measurements you can include, the better. If you're really looking to create a professional initial tech pack, you'll also include graded measurements, which is essentially the measurements that you want on every single size of that garment but you can also do that at a later stage. If this is intimidating or you think this is a little bit too much for you to take on on your own, the Unmarked Street team is here for you. We build tech packs for brands day in and out and we have a master at creating the best flat sketches I've ever seen. If you need help with it, contact us. You can head over to my website at unmarkedstreet.com and check out all of our different programs and our a la carte menu for items we could do for you.